Hi students, how are you doing? Today we'll be going through uh, some of this, uh, some of the properties that you have learned in the past uh, on prisms and pyramid. So, I'm sure most of you knows the uh, the name of this pyramid that is uh, appearing on your screen. It's known as a triangular prism. Okay, so um, one of the Famous object that we can find in the supermarket is the Tobron chocolate. That's actually one of my favorite uh, chocolate, um, and it's the shape of a triangular prism. So, in order for us to know uh, how to describe the prism, we need to be able to um, you know verbalize the properties of a pre uh, prism. So, for a tri triangular prism. Uh, yes, five faces. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five. There are a total of five faces. Six vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. And how many edges do we have? You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine edges for a triangular pro uh, prism. What about a pentagonal prism? Okay, pentagonal basically you have a base of the shape of a pentagon. So it has seven faces, as you can see, five of the sides plus the two, uh, top and the bottom base. That's why you have seven faces. Ten vertices, you have one, two, three, four, five on top and another five at the bottom. So that's how you get ten vertices. And 15 edges, as you can see, there are five lines on the pentagon. You have two of them, you get 10. Plus all the edges that join the two pentagons together, that's why you have 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15 edges. What about a hexagonal prism? So hexagon, a hexagon has six sides. So how many faces um, do we have? There are eight faces. So six, six of them is uh, the, the, the six sides plus the top two, the top and the bottom base, that's how you get eight faces. Vertices, you have one, two, three, four, five, six at the top, one, two, three, four, five, six at the bottom, that's how you get 12, six plus six to give you 12. And edges will be the six lines on top, six lines at the bottom, and all the six lines that join the two hexagon together. That's why you have 18 edges. I hope all you are able to see a pattern. I'm going to you know, come up with a table to generalize. As you can see, a triangular prism is related to a triangle. And the number of faces is actually five faces. Number of vertices is six. And number of edges is nine. Can you see some patterns? Let's look at it carefully again. Pentagon, pentagonal. Pentagon is related to five sides. I have seven faces, ten vertices. 15 edges. Hexagonal, you have 6 sides. Number of faces, you have 8. Um, number of vertices is 12. Number of edges is 18. That's right. You see a relationship, this is always plus 2. To get the faces, to get vertices is always multiplied by 2. And to get the edges is always multiplied by 3. Isn't it? Okay. So now, what about a dectagonal um, prism? A dectagon is related to 10 sides. So, there are 12 faces, agree? You plus 2 to it. Make a guess, what about number of vertices? That's right, it's times 2. 10 times 2 is 20. And what about the number of ages? Oh, yep, that's right. It's related to you know, 3 times of the sides, which is 30. That's how you get the number of ages. Let's move on to pyramid. So this is a square-based pyramid. So of course the well-known pyramid is uh, the pyramids in uh, Egypt. I did a quick research, you know, and it seems like there are about 160 plus uh, pyramids that can be found in Egypt. It's scattered all over the country. And the oldest known pyramid uh, that was built was around 2630 BC. So it's very old and imagine the, the kind of technology that they had back then to build such an enormous uh, structure. Definitely wasn't easy. 
Okay, so for square base pyramid, what are the properties now? Okay, let's look at again using the three main areas, faces, vertices, and um, the edges. So it has five faces, all agree? Yep. The, the four, the four um, triangles and the square base, that's why you have five faces. And five vertices, one, two, three, four, plus the top five. And this top point is actually known as the apex. Just remember that, okay? So uh, a pyramid has, a, has an apex, but not a prism. So bear that in mind. And there are eight edges. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, keep a lookout. There is a pattern also that you can establish for pyramid. So I'm going to introduce to you a pentagonal based pyramid. A pre, a pyramid. Okay, it's meant to be a pyramid. I've it's meant it's a typo there. Apologies. Okay, let's carry on. Yep. So <clears throat> properties of a pentagonal based pyramid. So there are six faces. So as you can see, you know the five triangles and the base um, pentagon. That's how you get six of them. And vertices again, you have the, all the five corners here plus the top plus one is six. And the top point is actually known as apex again. So we see that's always an apex for a pyramid. And there are ten edges. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So there are ten edges. Can you see a pattern? Hope so. So as you can see, a square base pyramid, square is related to four, number of faces is five, number of vertices is five, number of edges is eight. Pentagonal, related to five sides, you get six faces, six vertices, and ten edges. That's right. Good observation. As you can see, it is always plus one for faces, plus one for the vertices with regards to the sides that is related and the number of edges is just multiply of two of the number of sides that is related to the pyramid to the base so pentagon is the same thing number of faces is five um, number of faces is actually six which is five plus one number of vertices is five plus one again you get um, number of vertices and then the number of edges is just five times two to give you ten that's right so to that, the dectagonal de de base pyramid, dectagon is related to 10. That's right. The number of faces will just plus 1, which is 11. Number of vertices is also 11. And the number of ages is... Ta -ta, that's right, it's 20. Okay, well done, guys. Okay, so please spend our time going through the task on my online. I've given you quite a fair bit of things to do and also a video for you to watch. Uh, at the same time, complete uh, the questions that have been given to you. Okay, and also to complete the student book, page 71. Okay, uh, I'm on Teams, so any point in time you need any help, uh, drop me a note on Teams. Okay, bye-bye.